Hey everybody, Chris Sev with Better Dev here. Today in this video, we're gonna talk about one of my absolute favorite features to come to CSS, which is Flexbox. And this video is taken from my beginnertailwind.com course. So if you do like this video, please check out the course. All right, let's get to it. So in the Tailwind display classes, down here under layout, you see container here, there's display right here. We have block, which is what divs are by default. We also have flex. So display flex is a really, really cool tool in CSS that helps us do so many amazing things that were really difficult to do before Flexbox. And we'll demonstrate a lot of those in this video. So if you wanna get more familiar with Flexbox and why I absolutely love Flexbox, here's a really good game to play online to learn it, flexboxfroggy.com. Here you can learn all about the main Flexbox classes, and I think it's really important to learn these before jumping into Tailwind because Tailwind classes are great, but they don't really work unless you know the Tailwind, uh, the Flexbox, how it works. So a uh, really good tool to play around with, flexboxfroggy.com. We'll come into our code pen, and here I'm going to have four sections here. So one is going to be centering. Let me zoom in a little bit. So we'll have centering. We'll have another one for building out a navigation and I wanna demonstrate the different ways that Flexbox is used in our day-to-day -day CSS. We'll talk about creating a uh, columns section. We'll talk about building out a sidebar section as well. And all of these can be easily done with Flexbox, so let's get started. So each of these is gonna have its own div. And for this one, let's just give it a background color and a height so that we can get started. Let's go background green at 700 and H64, which is the highest of the height classes. And I'll press tab, let that autocomplete. Let's do an H2 inside of here. Let's do for text for XL and the text here will be centered. Okay, so it's not really centered yet. I just typed in the word centered. To get this centered, before we used to have to do some kind of margin uh, offset where we would push this margin left a lot, margin top a lot, but then it wouldn't really be fully, truly centered. In Flexbox, there's a different way to do it. So when we're doing CSS, you would type in the div and you would say three things. Display is flex, align items is center, and justify content is center. And with those three things, you would be able to center the contents of a div. And that's amazing. Three lines to center something in CSS is fantastic. So let's break this down. Display flex is setting the div to be display flex. Justify content is basically going to center along the main axis. And when we're starting, that means the X axis. So this right here, it's going to center it. And if I remove the align items, watch this, it'll get pushed to the top. So what we can do here is bring this align items in, remove the justify content and kind of see what that looks like. Okay, that looks good right there. So align items is the Y axis, justify content is the X axis or the main axis. And I say main because sometimes it flips, uh, which we will talk about also. But let's bring that back down. So how do we do this in Tailwind? We don't want to write any custom CSS. Well, we'll do three things, flex to get it to be flexbox. And then we'll say justify center, which is justify content center right there. And then we'll do items center. And that will center right there. And this is something that you'll do a ton in your CSS journey with Tailwind is centering things. So those three classes put together are very, very powerful. All right, so let's take this a step further. I actually wanna change out the color on that. It's a little too jarring just uh text green 100, make it look a little bit better. Cool. Let's see how we would build out a navigation now. So let's do div right here. We'll do background gray at 300 and give it a padding of 10. So no flex box just yet, but when we're doing navigations, we'll usually have like a div right here for a logo or something. And then we'll also have a div for a navigation. And right now they're gonna sit one on top of the other. And the cool thing about Flexbox is as soon as you type in flex, they will sit side by side. 
There we go. So now the next thing here is that usually the logo is on the left, the navigation is on the far right. Uh, you could do this by like absolutely positioning this thing right here, but Flexbox makes this really easy. We have justify here for center. So if we did justify center, that would center everything right there. But we also have a different class justify between. So that's basically saying, hey, all of the space in between these two take up so that the first div goes far left, the second div goes far right, which is really nice. And that's gonna be it for our navigation. And once we have that down, we have a navigation bar, which we are gonna build in this course later on when we build out our main site. All right, let's talk about the column section. We're gonna have a div. Let's go background yellow at 500 and a padding of 10. And then inside of this, let's do three divs. Uh, we'll say hello for each one and we'll do three of them. And just to get a little bit more sizing on here, let's go class, background white, and padding of two. Okay, so now we have the divs, which are white backgrounds right here and stacked as divs should be because they're display block by default. To get these to sit side by side, we'll say flex. Okay, and by default, they're gonna sit flex, which is side by side with each other, but they won't be taking up the full size of their container, which is totally fine. So to get Flexbox children, which are these div, div, and div, to be the full width and kind of take up space, we'll add a new class to each of these called flex grow. That is basically saying, hey, all of you children here kind of just grow to the space that is allotted to you that you have available. And there's also flex shrink to say, okay, one of these divs should not be growing beyond the contents of itself. So that'll be just that right there. And then the other two will grow to the space available. Let's take this a step further. When we go to mobile, which is right here, we probably want this to not be stacked, sorry, not be sitting side by side. And we learned that in the responsive video, if we wanted flex to only apply to large screens, we just say large, flex, and everything else on mobile is block. So that works out nicely. Uh, let's change that to medium so we can not have to expand so wide. There we go. So one thing we can do here is get space X of eight so that they're spacing in between each of these. And that looks good right there. But we only want that to happen on the larger screen. So we'll say medium for that one as well. Next up, we want these to have spacing on mobile. So let's go ahead and say space Y is four. And I'm just picking out random numbers to get a little spacing here. You could do margin bottom, margin bottom, or margin top, margin top right there. But I like doing it on the parent element so that you don't really have to worry about each of the children. You just add it to the parent and it cascades down to its children. But the other thing on this is that we don't want this space Y4 on larger devices. So we're going to say on medium devices, we're going to reset that space Y is zero. And there we go. We now have a grid area. So that's cool right there. So stacking on mobile and grid sections on uh, desktop. So that's a good way to use Flexbox there. So these three scenarios, really, really important ways to use Flexbox in the wild. We have one more here for the sidebar. Let's do div bg teal at 700 and a height of 64. And then in here, let's do a div. And let's say we had a sidebar div for sidebar and a div for content. So normally we would want these to sit side by side. Let's give these a Class is background orange at 500 and a padding of 10 just to get some nice styling in there. Well, decently styling in there. Let's do BG teal at 500 and a padding of 10 around that as well. And it keeps scrolling us up to the top. So we have a sidebar and content sitting on top of each other to get them to sit side by side. Class is flex on the parent. There we go. So that's looking good. And if we need them to 
grow to the height of their div parent, so sidebar and content aren't the full height of the this right here, we can say items. And remember, items is the y-axis in this case. So we can say items center, and that will kind of push them to the center of all of this. But that didn't work because the div, this one right here, if we did a border, and this is kind of how you debug in CSS, right? You do border, border red at 100. So let's give it a little border, see what this is at. So this Flexbox item right here isn't the full height of this. So we need to say, hey, you go to the full height of your parent. And now item center actually works. So to get now the children to be the same height as the parent, we say items stretch. And sorry, this keeps jumping. We're almost done with this one. So item stretch, let's remove the border now. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so two more things. Uh, this is kind of getting in the way. Let's uh, comment one of these out real quick. There we go, that's better. So another thing we can do is set a width on one of the children right here. So we'll say width is one fifth. So that'll be about 20%. And then the other one, we kind of want this to take up the rest of the content. And we learned this class over here, right here, flex grow. So we'll type that in there, flex grow. So you, the content, take up the rest of the space you're allowed. And the sidebar, just take up this width one fifth. And we'll do a little bit more of our responsive styling. Since we don't want the sidebar and the content on mobile, let's do on medium flex and on medium right there, and also on medium right here. So those three classes will prefix with the medium uh, responsive class. And now on mobile, we're stacking. And then on medium sizes, we have our sidebar back again. If you didn't want the sidebar there, you could also just say, hey, on normal screens, hidden, and then on medium, display block. So now it's hidden on mobile. There we go. And as we stretch, it shows up again. So that's a good way to hide it and show it based on uh, responsive classes. So let me uncomment this one right here and all of these four, I believe, all these four scenarios are really good to learn Flexbox for centering, for splitting things left and right, for creating columns, and for creating like a sidebar and content area. So all of these four scenarios really helpful for Flexbox and absolutely enjoy Flexbox. Try out Flexbox Froggy dot com and we'll be using a ton of flexbox later in this course all right thanks for watching if you did enjoy this video please like and subscribe down below it helps us out to know that we're doing good stuff here at better dev and of course if you did like the video please check out the course at beginnertailwind.com see you next time